Hi everyone, welcome to another weekly update of Vacation Rentals here on Oahu. And holy cow, this is a, what an amazing busy week uh, last week for new listings. 22 new listings and eight sold properties um, of the eight, seven were cash transactions. And I apologize, I'm getting on this video late. Uh, it's just been exceptionally busy. And I'm sure other people are here as well because I mean, this is just incredible how many new listings uh, this past week. And before I start covering uh, these units, I just want to give a little shout out to my cousin and his mother, Joanne, who are on the mainland. And I was just told that they uh, watch this, uh, these videos uh, pretty frequently and they enjoy it. So uh, again, thanks for the support to you both. And uh, with that, let's get started here. Island Colony Studio. So this unit's on the 14th floor, 315 square feet, one of the larger ones. First at 358,000. Um, here's your views here again your monthly dues this building is going under some renovations for our drain line and some spalling work nice looking unit though i like the colors they have and the furnishings i would get rid of the carpet though again carpet in my opinion just not ideal in hawaii with the moisture and especially the vacation rental how much wear and tear they get and accumulate this kind of dirt that's unique how they have that artificial lawn on the lanai. That's not too common here. Unit itself though, it could be updated. This tile here, the little kitchen at the cabinets and countertop. Same with the bathroom. But nice little view of the Alawai. You're gonna get some street noise definitely from Alawai and then the seaside street right here. Uh, another one over Island Colony on the 19th floor, a little smaller unit, 309 square feet, priced for 376. This has city, marina, and mountain views like that other one. Hardwood floors throughout. Could use a little update as well. Moving on over to the Trump Tower. Um, now rebranded as Kalai. This is a studio on the 13th floor, 468,000. Uh, again, we're for all uh, Trump, like uh, Kalahi or Ritz Carlton units. I'm not going to go into detail because they just really don't make um, the best investments for for most most people. But if you have any questions about these properties, just uh, let me know. Here's another one on the 17th floor at Lakahi. Excuse me, Kalahi, 470,000 square. Feet. Here's another one over at uh, Trump Palai, 17th floor, 470,000 studio, spacious 492 square feet. Another one at the Trump on the 19th floor, studio, 486 square feet, 490,000. Hawaiian Monarch on the 28th floor. This is a one bed, two bath, 576 square feet, priced for 640. City Mountain Views, here's your monthly fees here and everything that's included. Pretty nice looking unit. As I mentioned before, picture quality is so important when you're trying to sell a property. And here, these are just not in focus. Amazing, a seller puts up with this. And if you are a seller and a, your agent does something like this, do not hesitate to ask them to reshoot the unit or terminate them. It's that, to my opinion, is how important it is to provide quality pictures. This is just uh, junk. And I think it's a little high anyways for 640, but we'll see what happens there. Elika on the 11th floor. This is an ocean view unit, one bed, one bath, uh, 500 square feet, price 780,000. Nice cozy look to it. Not the ideal location, in my opinion, the stack. You really only get an ocean view if you lean out from the lanai. You'll see that in a moment here. So a lot of his original features, but it's a nice looking, look at well-maintained unit. Has split AC, which is um, pretty nice. So again, there's your ocean view, but you really gotta, your direct view is gonna be looking at the Hilton, uh, but here's your lag lagoon ocean view. Not that bad of a price, in my opinion, uh, for that floor and location. I would prefer to have a little better view, ocean view, at that price point, though. 
Ritz Carlton, very spacious studio on the 12th floor, 629 square feet, price is 789. Keep in mind your monthly dues and what it covers down here. Uh, going back to Elikai on the 11th floor, um, this is definitely a better stack in my opinion, price is 795. Cozy looking unit. That's interesting. I that's the only time I've seen an island or not an island, but a little countertop there with that kind of seating. That's really unique. I would think they'd make smaller stands or to give you more space. Where do they have those um, columns? Uh, it looks a little over furnished in my opinion. Yeah, pretty unique, but it may go at that price point. It has, it has a decent views. Yeah, curious to see what that goes for as well. Elikai on the 15th floor. Again, this is a leaning, leaning out from your lanai in this stack. 800,000. Get through some of these pictures for you. Just curious seeing how people uh, stage their units for guests and how, how, how things differ so much. That last one I would say is over furnished. This one I'd say is uh, under furnished. This is really unique here too. Definitely, uh, in my opinion, needs to be updated. And you know, there's the actual view when you're inside your unit. And I think that's overpriced. Uh, 24th floor, 820,000. These great stack here for views. Unfortunately, this is a unit on one of those floors where if you do vacation rentals and don't use the hotel management services, you have to pay their daily house cleaning fees as well as uh, use their maintenance vendors. And it's it very, very expensive. So I don't really don't advise clients owning on. And that applies to floor number two and floors 22 through 25 that have these restrictions. And these are developer uh, floors. They've all been pretty much re um, remodeled. Very similar looks. This carpet, for the most part, all the furnishings are generally very similar to for all the units on these floors. Elikai, really a lot of new listings at Elikai. And uh, don't alarm, be alarmed by all these new listings here. Um, some people get spooked, like why are people all of a sudden selling a certain building? But this property has over a thousand units, so there's nothing unusual like with maintenance or anything um at least that i'm aware of going on this building but this is a one bed one bath on the 10th floor eight hundred fifty thousand. nicely remodeled again the views are not that uh spectacular in my opinion but the unit looks nice and i had a client who uh remodeled there Elikai, pretty much uh, it was a full gut job and they spent just under 40000 for something similar to this. They did not put split AC in, in there, but brand new kitchen, bathroom, shower surround, paint, some other things. Yeah, under 40000 just to give you an idea. This is nice, so I like this here. Boy, amazing, 850, but they may get that. Market's still hot. Waikiki Bannon, 35th floor, um, and the Malka Tower, Tower 2. This has an NUC permit, which uh, allows you to do nightly rentals from day one once you take possession, where with a, non, with a unit that does not have an NUC permit, you have to go through the DPP registration process, which uh, delays some things, so. This is, uh, again, on the 35th floor, priced at 858000 These units do come with parking. Not a bad view. This is Waikiki Sunset right here.
definitely needs to be re refurnished, obviously, if you really want to uh, get top dollar. But nice floor to be on. I'm guessing that's going to be an escrow soon. Uh, Trump Tower Waikiki on the 20th floor. 930000 for one bed, one bath, 795 square feet. This gives you a picture here. These are really nice units here. Really nicely done. Uh, Ritz Carlton on the 17th floor. This is a one bed, one bath, 738,000, excuse me, 738 square feet, priced at 939. Kind of a good comparison to uh, Palahi. Another one over the Ritz, 12th floor, one bed, one bath, same square, 738 square feet, priced for 1.25. Kalahi, going back to Kalai on the 10th floor, one bed, two bath, very spacious, a little over 1,100 square feet, priced at 1.45. Ilikai, two bedroom on the 23rd floor. So again, this is a, one of those floors where you do have these restrictions with the hotel if you self-manage or use a third-party management company for nightly rentals. It does have ocean views, 1.5 million, 1,000 uh, 1, square feet. This is a pretty nice looking unit here. But again, I would not advise clients buying on, on this floor. Going back to Kalahi, 17th floor, another one bed, two bath, price at 1.68. And Ilika on the second floor. So this is a, another floor that has those restrictions, price at 1.89. You'll see it's similar interior, but great views. Although on the second floor, you're gonna be dealing with a whole lot of uh, street and uh, pedestrian tra traffic and noise. But good place that people watch. Um, you can see the surf breaks here. You got the lagoon here. And FYI, if you're in this area, this is all free parking all along here. And then all along here is free parking. And then there's a little drive down here, right along the marina that is also free parking. Not not 24 hours a day. It's I believe it's 6 o'clock in the morning till I think 10 o'clock at night or, or maybe midnight. Another one at Ilikai, fifth floor, another two bed, two bath, 1.988 million. This also has ocean views. This is a nice looking unit on the fifth floor. I think it's priced a little high in my opinion, being only on the fifth floor, but very direct views. You will be dealing with some noise here though, because this is a pretty heavily trafficked area here. You have Cinnamon's restaurant right here. There's a bunch of boutique shops along here. And then over here is the modern hotel, their pool deck. But I like the unit. I mean, the furnishings looks very well maintained. The colors they have. I would just prefer it was maybe under 1.8. And some of these units do do 12, 15,000 a month sometimes. But yeah, nice looking, nice looking unit. And lastly, for new uh, listings, Ritz Carlton on the 31st floor. Three bed, three bath. You don't come on the market very often. Um, one little over 1,600 square feet, 1,601. Price just under $3 million. So this is pretty unusual. I'm just going to show you some pictures here. Pretty stellar views here. Yeah, really nice. And I recently just. Um, went to dinner over at the Ritz at the have a outdoor restaurant. Um, I think it's on the uh, sixth or seventh floor, but really beautiful setting. It was a wonderful night. Um, highly recommend it. Food is very good. Beautiful unit. Really nice, in my opinion. Okay, moving on to sold. Bamboo on the 12th floor. This is a very small studio, 206 square feet. 65 days on the market, sold for $5,000 below list price. Uh, Hawaiian Monarch, this is another studio, 247 square feet. It had some nice views. Uh, actually sold eight days on the market, $5,000 above list price. Island Colony, 26th floor. This is a good comp to uh, those new listings for this past week. $5,000 5, below list price, four days on the market. 
44th, excuse me, 41st floor island colony. 5250 above list price, 11 days on the market. Back to Island Colony again, 27th floor. Uh, this is a one bed, one bath. These are some nice units. Uh, five days on the market, 485. Island Colony, 33rd floor, another one bed, one bath. Sold for list price, 36 days on the market. Waikiki Sunset on the 33rd floor. To let you know, I had a client who offered significantly above 800,000 on this unit. Uh, this is a multiple offer situation and um, wasn't two police houses handled, but eventually the, um, the seller sold it to his friend and obviously wasn't worried about money because he left a whole lot of money on the table by not going with my client's offer. So 780 and this is a, show you a picture. This is, yeah, a good price. When you look at units, what are selling for it at Banyan with comparable views and square footage of the unit. This unit does need to be remodeled, but yeah, that was a good one. And Waikiki Beach Tower, nice unit here on the 32nd floor, two bed, two bath, almost 1100 square feet, square feet, 90 days on the market. So for 2.35, show you some of these pictures here. This is a, uh, I actually prefer to be a little lower here on this building. This is uh, right, pretty much on Kalakaua. Just sit back a little bit. But being a little lower is, I just like people watching and watching the surfers a little lower than this uh, higher up view, but this is nice for sure. In some units, I don't like this enclosed kitchen. There's other unit, two bed, two baths. Almost all the units in uh, Waikiki Beach are two bed, two baths. There is a three bed. I think there's one or two. Definitely one, maybe two, three bed units in the building. But a lot other floor plans is that this kitchen is, is much, much more open. It's not this kind of galley kitchen here. But again, do not quality pictures here. Well, there you have it. You can see it continues to be very busy here for uh, vacation rentals on Oahu. I'm going to be curious to see how quickly some of these units go on, go into escrow. Um, it seems to me that at least for buyers, it's slowing down a little bit. I'm still seeing multiple offer situations, but just not as extreme as uh, the past two years or so. So it, it does, again, seems like it's slowing down a little bit. But if you have any questions about any of these properties or just want to talk about residential real estate, uh, on Oahu or any of the Hawaiian Islands. Contact me anytime. Thanks for watching and take care.